This is a short video about Horner syndrome, sometimes called Horner syndrome, singular, other times Horner's apostrophe S syndrome. I've seen it both ways. Um, the two main symptoms of Horner syndrome are um, they're present in the eye, a slight droop of the eyelid. This is my left eye. Um, a slight droop of the eyelid and also a constricted pupil. So it's smaller than the other. Uh, the droop is called ptosis. The constriction is actually called meiosis. Um, Horner syndrome itself is not, um, it's, it's not a disease itself. It's a syndrome that means something else is wrong. Um, and there's a really wide variety of things that can cause it, so it can be really difficult to figure out. Um, this here says, Horner syndrome can be caused by any interruption in a set of nerve fibers that start in the part of the brain called the hypothalamus and run to the face. The nerves start in the brain. They actually go down at least as far as the top of the lungs, and then they come back up to either side of the face. And somewhere along that sympathetic chain, the sympathetic nerve chain, there's some kind of damage, and that's what causes the problem on the eye. It's not actually an eye problem. Um, can be a pancose tumor at the top of the lung. Can be stroke, migraine or cluster headaches, tumor some other place along the chain of, ner of nerves. Um, I found out that Apparently, I have a problem in my internal carotid artery that's causing this. Um, I, ha I do have headaches, but I have no idea if those are related to the Horner syndrome. They may not be, because um, I've had those a long time. I have no idea when I got this. I haven't had any injury. Hoping to post this on YouTube and then post it on my blog with some additional links to additional information about Horner syndrome and all of the many wild various things that can cause it. Um, that's all.